Okay, so with part two of the seventh anniversary celebration starting tonight slash tomorrow morning, depending on where you live, that means we are finally going to be getting the Extreme Z Battle Event and of course the Extreme Z Awakenings for the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Fizz Omega Shenron. So in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick breakdown of their uh, Awakening details and also the event itself so that you guys know exactly what to expect once all of this stuff comes out. Okay, so uh, yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it, starting with the Extreme Z Battle event first. And as you can see, the release date for Global is July 19th, 2022. And the weakness or the effective category here is Shadow Dragon Saga. So if possible, you want to bring a full Shadow Dragon Saga team or at least as many units from the category as possible since um, you know they will be doing uh, increased damage and also taking less damage from the enemies. And uh, from there, let's take a look at the levels. So uh, for the most part, it's your standard Extreme Z Battle event. Between levels 1 to 20, you're getting one Dragonstone for every clear. But then, after level 20, between 21 and 30, it's going to be two Dragonstones per clear for a grand total of 40 Dragonstones from the stages alone compared to 30 for the average Extreme Z battle event, right? And then on top of that, you are getting Extreme Z Awakening medals uh, for both the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Omega Shenron for every level. You're getting Fizz Orbs between levels 1 to 15 and then Tech Orbs between 16 and 30. And uh, of course, some Grand Kai's along the way. Now, one important thing to take note of is that after level 15, it's gonna switch from Omega Shenron to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and there's gonna be an additional damage reduction of 80% against all AGL type units. So you can use AGL units on your team from levels 1 to 15, but then after 15, I would recommend you take them off your team because they're basically gonna do no damage against the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And uh, yeah, once you do all 30 levels, you'll be getting enough Extreme Z Awakening medals to fully Extreme Z Awaken both the Omega Shenron and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, a bunch of potential orbs, both Tech and Fizz, and then once again, 40 Dragonstones and six uh, Grand Kai's for Tech and Fizz. And then we also have a few missions here for some additional rewards. So these can be repeated for both units. If you fully Extreme Z Awaken both of them, you'll get six Dragonstones, uh, two Platinum Hercule statues. And then if you get them both to uh, Super Attack 15, then you get one uh, Elder Kai for each. So two Elder Kai's in total. So yeah, guys, that is uh, essentially the Extreme Z battle event. Now let's move on to the units themselves and see what they do with their Extreme Z awakenings. So uh, starting here with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which I would assume is the one that most people are more excited for. Although for me personally, um, I'm probably more hyped for the Omega Shenron just for the leader skill alone, but we'll get to him. So starting with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, before the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is Fusion Saga, or sorry, uh, Fusion Category, key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 150%, or Tech Types, key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack greatly raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and Passive is Attack plus 120%, Extreme Class Enemies, Attack and Defense minus 20%, and then a great chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. Now jumping over to his Extreme Z Awakening now, his new leader skill is going to be Fusion Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, or Tech Types Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%, Super Attack greatly raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And then his passive is extreme class enemies, attack and defense minus 20%, attack and defense plus 150%, high chance of attacks being effective against all types, 
plus an additional attack and defense plus 25% up to 50% for 5 turns with each super attack performed and then a great chance of evading enemy super attacks and countering with tremendous power. So that is the Extreme Z Awakening for the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. In my opinion, he is very good, but I do have a few issues with it to be honest. Like for example, a high chance for attacks to be effective against all types is only 50%, so basically half the time he's not going to be getting that, and I feel like that wasn't like super necessary. Um, I think it would have been fine if it just said, you know, attacks effective against all types, right? And then also this additional buff here for super attacks performed is only for 5 turns. Now obviously you can keep proccing it I guess, but I just feel like that's also something that didn't need to be there, like the 5 turn restriction. And um, I mean great chance to evade and counter is still nice. Uh, the debuff could have been higher right against extreme class enemies, but they kept it the same. So I guess I'm just like nitpicking a little bit, but uh, overall he is good. He is good, but is he better than the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? Um, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I think at best he's equivalent to the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but you might not have a reason to like really run this guy over the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, depending on, I guess, your investment in both of the Gogetas. And um, I think part of the reason why I'm not like super impressed by this Extreme Z Awakening now is because of some of the more recent EZAs we've seen, like for AGL Terlis or uh, LR, Rose and Zamasu, and so on and so forth, right? But uh, long story short, I still think it's a very strong Extreme Z Awakening. He is way, way, way better now. He's actually usable compared to pre-Extreme Z Awakening, so that's good. And taking a quick look at the stats here, after the Extreme Z Awakening, he can get up to a maximum of 19,199 HP, 20,744 attack, and 10,909 defense. So, uh, yeah, that is the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Definitely a really strong Extreme Z Awakening. Um, not as impressive as some of the more recent EZAs, but I guess that's to be expected, right? And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Let's move on now to the Omega Shenron, who, like I said, I'm more excited for because of the Shadow Dragon Saga leader skill. Because uh, right now, the best leader we have is 150%, which was the Omega Shenron, but then it becomes 170% with the EZA. So uh, yeah, starting with the pre Extreme Z Awakening details, leader skill is Shadow Dragon Saga Category Key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 150%, or Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, immense damage, greatly lowers defense, and passive attack plus 120%, all enemies, attack and defense minus 20%, launches an additional attack, which has a chance to become a super attack. So this was only 10% uh, without the easy A. Now, popping over to the Extreme Z Awakening, new leader skill, Shadow Dragon Saga, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And passive is all enemies attack and defense minus 20%, attack and defense plus 150%, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to 70% and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. So Omega Shenron is also very powerful just like the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, this guy is going to be getting some really good defense, he's going to be doing some really good damage, he's going to be getting multiple supers, uh, not every turn but you know every couple of turns. and. Uh, He's essentially kind of like, we've seen a lot of comparisons to the Fizz Cooler Extreme Z Awakening, which is, I guess, uh, understandable because of the additional supers, because of the, you know, building up of attack and defense with every attack. There are definitely, you know, a lot of similarities between the two units, and uh, whenever you're getting compared to Fizz Final Form Cooler's Extreme Z Awakening, which is 
in my opinion, still one of the better EZAs in the game, that's always a good thing. So yeah, that is the Omega Shenron EZA. Let me just quickly show you guys the stats before we go. So uh, yeah, after the EZA, HP goes up to 21,705, uh, attack 18,979, and defense 11,363. So there you have it guys, that is your preview, your breakdown of the Fizz Omega Shenron and Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Extreme Z Awakenings. Let me know in the comments down below which one are you more hyped for, which one are you more looking forward to, and uh, yeah, look forward to a showcase for both these guys as well as of course my run through the Extreme Z Battle event and uh, all the other content coming for part 2 of the anniversary. But for now, that's all I gotta say in this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.